Hey there everyone, Dr. Beth Westy here and I'm going to talk about depletion today. I'm going to talk about why you feel like you have to keep starting over and over and over and over again with your plan, program, all these other things. I mean, think about the past two years alone, just the past two years. How many different diets, nutrition programs, different you know ways of eating have you done? Have you tried? Two years. Have you tried keto? Have you tried paleo? Have you tried grain free or Atkins or Weight Watchers or Whole30 or all those things? All those things are different nutrition plans. And I'm not saying that they're bad. It's just if you shift how you're eating and it's a depletion method that you're using to get a different result with your health, you're going to end up in the same place again and again and again. So I see this with women all the time and what's really interesting is that I, um, I had a conversation with somebody today and we were talking about one of the biggest differences that I'm seeing right now in women's health overall. One of the biggest questions that I'm getting is they're like, I, I don't want to do this again. I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to go on any more crash diets. I don't want to go through again and again and again and I'm worried that I'm going to start something that is the same thing that has led me down that same road again because all I do is wind up going in a circle. I'm not actually making progress. I'm not actually moving forward. I'm trying to find a new path. I'm trying to find a new trail. I'm trying to find something new and winding around and going through and all the work and effort and energy you put into it only to figure out that you wind up in the same place again. It's like you're trying to climb a mountaintop and you're taking all these trails and all you're doing is ending right back in the parking lot again. <laughs> very, very frustrating. Why is this? Why does this happen? It's because most of those plans, programs, and things that they're teaching you is a different form of depletion. Depletion. Yeah, depleting your body of nutrients in terms of just losing weight and making progress in that fashion. It's not anything that is going to get you a lasting result. What happens is, is that you start to experience fatigue and exhaustion. You can't keep going with it. It's not a way that you can maintain or eat forever. No, and they're not meant to do that. They're meant to help you lose weight quickly or see some type of fast results. And then that's it. They're not meant for you to maintain at that level. So in doing that, you're gonna get completely exhausted doing that. One of the reasons is that it actually can deplete your muscle tissue. I can't tell you how many times I've seen women eat less calories or all these other things work out a ton and what actually happens is that their system loses muscle mass. Yeah. When you're losing muscle mass, you're actually ruining <laughs> all that work you did to try and get more muscle, get more lean, all that stuff. You're going in the opposite direction. So of course, if you don't have muscle, you're not going to have any energy overall, right? Which most women say, gosh, I just need to get more motivated. I really just need to buckle down and do it and all those things. I need to, I need to be more motivated. It's not about up here necessarily. If you're not feeling your body and getting it the right things it needs, there's no way you can do it. Like if you don't put the gas in your car, you can't sit there and just like mentally willpower it to move forward, <laughs> right? That's not how it's going to work. You got to put gas in your car and you got to be able to get it to start and move forward. That's what we're talking about here, getting the right nutrients, the right fuel in your system. Um, and then oftentimes too, with a depletion type of you know diet where you're cutting things out, again, these are typically plans that are made for men, you're missing nutrients in general. So you can become nutrient depleted. Besides protein, um, protein is the number one you know, nutrient I find women are missing. Women are often really low in things like vitamin D, iron, you know, things like that. And having those missing nutrients also means you're not going to process your hormones correctly. You're not going to have basic, you know, foundation health to help your body function the way that it should. So then all of a sudden you're like, yeah, it just, my period gets all messed up. I can't tell you how many women I've worked with that did bikini shows that trained for, you know, those types of body show competitions and their cycle gets all messed up or they start, they lose their period and they don't even get it back. It's so hard on your body because those are depletion things that you take your system through. And if you're not careful, you can, you can really mess some things up with missing nutrients. Yeah. 
Overall though, what's the end result is that it will slow your metabolism down. Every crash diet you've been on slows your metabolism down. Every time you put yourself through a depletion, it slows your metabolism down. So it just goes tick, 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 lower, lower, lower. Yeah. So now you're trying to climb this mountaintop and not only are you using the wrong map, but every time you go through it, you get to add on an ankle weight and add on an ankle weight and add on an ankle weight. And you're like, oh my gosh, now it's beginning so much harder to get to the top of the mountain because I don't know what path to take. The ones that I've taken clearly have led me right back where I started. And now I have to put up with more garbage because I've got all these ankle weights on now. So it's harder for me to get started. Absolutely. So this is why I love educating women and saying, you know what? This isn't something that you just did, right? You're following something, but it was something that wasn't made for your body and system. If you're not addressing the issues that you have, you're going to end up right at the same place again. And it might not be tomorrow, but it's going to be three months from now, six months from now, next year. So that's why I want you to think about just over the past two years, how many different things have you gone through, right? How many different things have you gone through? And how many more times do you want to keep starting over? That's the question that you get to ask yourself right now. That might not be fun to hear. How many times do I want to start over, right? Because what I teach women how to do is not just like, oh, eat this magic meal plan and it's going to help you lose weight, la la la. No, no. Here's what your system needs to function well, so you feel good, so you're able to keep the positive, healthy results that happen in your system. That's all it is. So if you are looking for your roadmap, your specific map, you can go in the comments and click the link and learn how to um, work with me more in a one-on-one setting to create a custom program for you. But this is one of the things that I find is so important for women and the biggest difference maker overall. Getting something that's for your system, that's for your body. Stop starting over again and again and again. Start something that is customized for you. That's the exact map for you. All right, other resources that I have for you. My book, The Female Fat Solution, this is on Amazon. Tons and tons of info on history of nutrition, how it's set up for men, basic nutrients, all about your hormones and your cycle. And then there's a whole section called The Seven Bodies of Eve, where it goes through different phases of your life. Because what you need at 25 is very different than what you need at 55. So I talk about all that stuff in here as well. I also have a book specifically for menopause. Yes, so there is that as well. So it's the female menopause solution. My podcast is called the female health solution. And then my YouTube channel is called Dr. Beth Westy, where I have a ton of resources for you as well, just to make sure you have enough info to make the right choices for you moving forward. So many women now are questioning what they've done health wise in the past and that they don't want to keep doing it over and over and over again. And our health is becoming more and more and more important. And it should be because if your health is not tip top, it is going to affect a lot of different areas of your life. It really, really is. So I'm here as a resource for you. If you have any questions or if there's any way that I can help you, please let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you later.